electric currents and its effects components and symbols of an electric circuit you have already learned how circuits need to be complete for the bulb to light up those circuits with batteries bulbs switches and wires were the most basic circuits we are going to study a lot of different kinds of circuits in science as we grow up if you want to explain to someone how you want a circuit to be connected how can you do it drawing batteries and bulbs and switches like an artist is not possible so scientists have certain symbols that they use to show the different parts of a circuit when you use these symbols to show how a circuit is connected we call it a circuit diagram let's take a look at the circuit symbols for the components that we already know electric cell electric bulb switch in on position switch in off position battery wire in the symbol of cell the long line is the positive side plus is longer and the shorter one is the negative side minus is shorter so this is the circuit which makes the bulb glow how do we show an open switch and the bulb not glowing the open switch is like this and the not glowing bulb is like this now let's draw a simple circuit diagram with a closed switch so that the bulb glows when the circuit is closed the current can flow through the bulb and make it glow this happens when the switch is on when the switch is off the current cannot flow through the bulb as the circuit is not complete so the bulb does not glow what happens if this filament inside the bulb is broken then too the circuit will not be complete and the bulb will not glow you must be having a remote control at home that uses more than one cell you might even be having a remote control or some toys which work on batteries and need more than one cell check out how you put the cells inside sometimes we put them in one after the other sometimes we put them in side by side look carefully at the cell one side is flat and you can see a minus sign on that side one side has a raised circle you can see a plus sign on that side these are the two terminals of a cell the one with the plus sign is called the positive terminal and the one with the minus sign is called the negative terminal look in the cell compartment and you will see there are signs for how the cell has to go in you have to follow the signs when you put the cell in once you do that you switch the device on and then electric current flows through the circuit when we make a circuit with more than one cell how do we connect the cells the positive of one cell has to be connected to the negative of another cell so we can connect the two cells like this you can see the negative terminal of the first cell touching the positive terminal of the second so for this whole thing together we have the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here we can connect four cells like this again you can see that the negative terminal of one cell touches the positive terminal of the other and then for all the four cells together we have one positive terminal and one negative terminal what if we have to keep the cells side by side then we have to have a wire connecting the positive of one cell to the negative of the other then again 
the cells together have one positive terminal and one negative terminal. You might have seen cell holders in your battery operated devices. There are some for one cell, some for two cells and some for three cells or even more. In each compartment, you usually find a spring-like thing on one side. That is for the flat side or the negative terminal of the cell. You can look inside and check the marking too. A collection of two or more than two cells used together is called a battery. Remember that you should only do the activities the way your teacher tells you to. Don't ever play with electricity from the mains. You could get a nasty shock and even die. It is highly powerful and very dangerous. Perform electric experiments as per instructions and only with the kind of cells that are mentioned. What did we just learn? It is convenient to represent electric components by symbols. Using these, an electric circuit can be represented by a circuit diagram.